Hey Dutch crew, welcome back to the channel. Now our regulars on the channel will know when I get a new bit of equipment I'll do an unboxing, a bit of review and a few weeks later I'll do a new video on some hacks, tips and tricks. So today we're going to make that video for the Ninja wood fire grill. Now I can't do any hacks with the Ninja wood fire because modifying it would just make it that unsafe because it's electric but I've got all these accessories here, we're going to run through, have a look at them and see what they do. The first thing I'm going to recommend you get is the Ninja cover. If this thing is going to be living outside, you need to get it covered because it is electric. So, most important, Ninja cover. Now we're going to move on to accessories for inside the Ninja. And the first thing I'm going to recommend is the plancher. Now you can get a plancher that's obviously the full width, but I bought this one. I probably could get in the bigger one if I really need it. Now these are great for doing things like smash burgers and things like that on. So I must have. Now the next thing I would recommend is one of these. It's just a Teflon sheet to put on. Great for clean up, non-stick, brilliant. Now if you want to be brazen inside a ninja, like I did with the beef cheeks in Guinness, you're going to need a good sturdy tray. Also, this Teflon, put that on there, it's going to stop it scratching the, uh, the base plate. You're going to have to hunt around a bit for these, these are grill grates, but these are grates also. Pop them on, these are great, you get more heat coming through from the bottom and also you get a nice little handy lifter for lifting the food off. While you're using this uh, Ninja Wood Fire Grill you're going to need a good pair of tongs. Now you want these with the silicon ends, you don't want these with the metal. If you're going in here with your metal tongs turning food you're soon going to scratch your surface. This is where the silicon tipped tongs come into play. The next thing we're going to talk about is thermometers because in barbecuing we cook to temperature and not time. So we can go for a simple little thing like this, just sticks in the meat, rare, medium and well done. Simple, two or three pounds. Moving up a level, something like the Inkbird. These are great, testing, probing your meat. Well worth it. Thermopendulum as well, great piece of kit. Now we can go a little bit more technical. We can go to something like the Weber Eye Grill. This is a single channel, or we can use a four channel. This is quite easy. Simply insert your probe into your meat and shut the lid. And look at this. If you look here, there's a little indentation. Now that fits the probe perfectly. And there's one on each side. Now if you want to go for the ultimate, you've got the meter plus. Now there is other makes available of this, but I do believe the Meter Plus was the first on the market. These are great. Literally take it out, insert into the meat, shut your lid down, and away you go. This connects to an app, so you can be down the garden, doing whatever you want, keep an eye on what you're cooking. Another great piece of equipment. Now, let's turn our attention to kebabs. I've got this. It's a Nano Tello kebab rack. This nano teller rack I've had to cut down just to fit into here. Put some stainless steel skewers which have also been cut down. The two end ones are slightly shorter in length. That enables us to shut the lid. And the design of this is we can just turn over our kebabs. Easy. Now the next rack I've got is a multi-use one and it's this. This is great for putting ribs in, put fish in, even kebabs across the top. You can also turn this and we can hang our chicken legs like this. Another great piece of equipment. Now who loves a chicken shawarma? I've got the perfect gadget to cook that 
inside the ninja wood fire. And it's this little contraption. This is a baked potato rack. It has a loop on the end. Cut that off, chop it into a point. Lay your chicken on, shut your lid. Chicken shawarma. Now as impressive as this grill is, it hasn't got a very big surface area for cooking. So, these are a must have in my opinion. Barbecue cooking baskets. You can fit three of these on the Ninja. You could have something like french fries going, Mediterranean vegetables, and some prawns or chicken wings. Okay, they're quite easy to turn. And now I'm going to leave you with this little gem right at the end. Look at that. What we have here is a piece of stone that I've cut down to fit in the Ninja Wood Fire Grill. I've seen people cook on the bottom plate, which is fine, but you can't beat a stone bait pizza. I just want to make it clear that all the accessories I've shown you today in this video I've paid for. There's no paid promotions, there's no affiliated links anywhere on this video for any of this equipment. I hope you found it useful, I hope you found some of the ideas useful. If you've got any of your own, leave them in the description below, I'd love to see them.